18, Lesson 1, <clears throat> Buying a Vehicle. In order to make the best decision before you make one of the most expensive purchases you'll make, you need to consider your driving needs and your budget. Objective. Identify questions to be answered before buying, deciding to buy. The cost of ownership. As you think about buying a car, you will need to think about your budget. The cost of the car is just the beginning. You'll also have to pay for auto insurance, registration fees, state vehicle stickers, gasoline, oil, tires, preventative maintenance, and repairs. Evaluate your driving needs. What kind of driving will you do? How many miles will you drive each year? How many passengers or how, many, how much cargo will you need to carry? What safety features do I want? How long will I expect to keep this vehicle? Will it fit into my parking area? A full-size sedan will provide better protection in a crash than a smaller vehicle. Because of their high center of gravity, SUVs roll more frequently than full-size sedans. Pickup trucks have plenty of cargo room but may have greater operating costs than a compact car. Objective. Identify the three safety features available in new vehicles and explain their functions. Know the safety features. New technology provides more control and protection for drivers and passengers than ever before. Electronic stabilizing controls. The sensors in your ESC system recognize when a vehicle starts to skid, then automatically applies the brakes to one or more wheels to get the vehicle back on target. Side impact airbags. Combination of airbags deploy from the side of the seat. Protect your head and chest. Tire Pressure Monitoring System. The TPMS uses sensors and is a dashboard warning light to alert drivers when one or more tire are significantly un underinflated. Backup Cameras. A rear video camera gives the drivers a wide angle view of much of the rear area that is usually hidden. A beeper sound sounds when an object is close and beeps fast as the object gets closer. Lane departure warning. A lane departure warning alert for drivers who may be drifting across the lane lines. Variable right height suspension. A variable ride height suspension rises or lowers the ride height of the vehicle while in motion. During off-road driving at low speeds, the vehicle adjusts to higher levels. During an on-road driving at high speeds, the vehicle will adjust to low, lower to the ground. Describe the advantages and disadvantages between buying a new and used car. New or used car. As a smart consumer, you need to know the advantages and disadvantages of buying a new and or a used car. Advantages of a new car. You get a, a written warranty for repairs or parts replacements over a given period of time. Financially, can be up to seven years. It has more safety features, requires less maintenance, and has more easily obtainable replacement parts. Used cars. It will have a lower purchase price and will probably be cheaper to operate. It will have cheaper insurance. It won't be affected by quick depletion, depreciation. Sorry. Disadvantages. New car. The value of a new car declines almost immediately and will continue to decline during the first few years. Your insurance premiums will probably be higher as well taxes and vehicle registration. Used car. 
It may not have a warranty or service records. Replacement parts may be difficult to find and records of previous damage may be unavailable. You will spend money on a thorough inspection by a certified mechanic. It will not have an advanced safety features. What would you look for when checking each of the items in the checklist? And just look at the checklist and see when you're inspecting the vehicle. Before you make any decisions, however, it's best to compare shop. Search the internet for information about the most fuel efficient vehicles, safety features, and for vehicles with worst repair rates. Review. List a question you should ask yourself before deciding on which kind of vehicle to buy. Name five safety features available in new vehicles. Chapter 17, Lesson 2, Preventative Maintenance. Every vehicle needs routine care and preventative maintenance to keep it running smoothly and effectively. The two most important systems are the power system and the control system. Identify three parts of a battery's electrical system. Maintaining power system. No matter what type of engine or driving system you have, when, you, when the check engine light or the service engine soon light warning comes on, check your owner's manual immediately and call a certified automotive technician. All modern vehicles have an electrical control module, a computer located in the engine compartment that controls your engine's efficiency. The ECM constantly tests how the sensors and components are operating because they must be synchronized to function properly. Fuel and emission system. Fuel injector systems deliver the exact amount of fuel so your car runs at a high performance with low fuel consumption. Cadillac converters are used in the exhaust system to reduce the levels of nitro oxide which the sun heats into smog. The emissions control system must not be tampered with or discontinued. Disconnected. This is especially true on vehicles with computerized engine controls. The muffler reduces noise from combustion sounds in the engine. Once rust causes a hole in the muffler, it will sound loud. Objective. Explain how cooling and lubricating systems protect your engine. Lubrication and cooling system. Oil, grease, and other substances are used to lubricate moving parts to reduce damage from heat caused by friction. Changing the oil is the key to keeping your vehicle in good running condition. If the oil pressure warning light comes on while driving, pull safely off the road, turn off the engine, and wait for the engine to cool. Replace the oil immediately. Low coolant levels can cause your engine to overheat. Check and replace low coolant levels when the vehicle is cold. If you spill coolant on the ground, Clean it up thoroughly because coolant is very toxic to animals. Color indicates types of fluid leaking. You have purple for power steering, blue for water, green for coolant, for, for coolant levels, black for oil, and red for transmission fluid. Name four parts to a vehicle's control system. Maintaining the control system. Your vehicle control system includes steering, braking, tires, and suspension. Steering system. If you notice that turning the steering wheel is more difficult, especially when parking, and there is excessive play when the steering wheel moves, you may have a problem with your steering system. Brake system. There are two types of brakes. Disc brakes on the front wheels 
and either disc or drum brakes on the rear wheels. Power brakes and analog brakes have become standard in most vehicles. If the brakes or analog brakes warning light stays on after starting the engine or when driving, have the vehicle serviced immediately. The parking brake is a mechanical is a mechanical and a separate rear wheel braking system. Using the parking brake regularly to prevent the brake cable from getting corroded. Parking brakes. You notice that your friend never uses the parking brake. When you ask her why she says it's not needed, what would you tell her? Regularly maintain your brakes by checking the brake fluid level and having your brakes checked on an annual basis or whenever you notice a problem. Good brake maintenance could save your life. Identify the three tire ratings that are part of the Uniform Tire Quality Grade System. Federal law requires tire manufacturers to place standardized information on the sidewalls of tires. Tread wear. The higher the grade, the longer the tread will last. Traction ratings are based on the tire's ability to stop on wet concrete or asphalt. The higher the grade, the better the tractions. Temperature. Rating A through C, A is the highest, are the indications of a tire's resistant to heat. Tires become unsafe when the tire is down to 1 16th of an inch and the wear bars are seen. Notice the wear bars, narrow bands appear across the tread. The prolonged to prolong the life of your tires, have them rotated, aligned, and balanced as recommended in your owner's manual. Lincoln Penny. To quickly check the condition of your tire tread, put a penny in the tread with Lincoln's head upside down facing you. You need one tire if you can see. You need new tires if you can see the top of Lincoln's head. Suspension System. The suspension system provides steering stability and maximizes the friction between tires and road surface. The shock absorbers or struts assemble units in located at each wheel to control the hard balancing and keep the tires on the road. When a vehicle bounces more than usual or you see uneven tire wear, have the suspension checked. Electrical system. Every car today contains a rechargeable 12 volt, volt battery. The car, the car battery powers everything electrical. Use gloves and eye protectant when working on a battery. The strong acid fluid can cause severe injury. Before jump starting your vehicle or using it to jump start another vehicle, check the owner's manual some new vehicles have specific locations, specific, specific inst instructions, or prohibit jump and start, jump starting. Check your headlights, tail lights, backup lights, and turn signals often. Check the instrument panel to ensure the turn signal lights is flashing when you active the signals. Check your owner's manual for correct replacement bulbs. Stack electricity. You need to discharge the stack electricity before touching nozzles because the stack electricity can transfer to a nozzle and possibly cause flash flares, flash fires. <clears throat> to refuel safely, do not leave your vehicle fuel point. Do not go back into your vehicle when refueling. Discharge the stack electricity by touching the metal part of the outside of your car away from the fueling point before touching and removing the nozzle. Review. What two system protects your vehicle from heat and wear? And how does a suspension system that needs servicing affect the ability for a driver to safely drive?